Okay, here's our computer desk. Um, for a few months now, we've been having some issues with this computer. Uh, just some weird, strange issues, freezing up, running really slow. And um, we've got a pet. We've got a golden retriever, and so there's a lot of dander in the home, and we do our best to clean our home air filters and vacuum and, and even blow out the, um, the fans in the computer. I'll show you that. So here's the computer on the back. Um, for months, well for years now, as long as we've had this, we've been blowing out this fan here as well as the couple fans on the back. And uh, I thought that was sufficient, but uh, in looking into the computer, I realized there were quite a few more fans than that. And um, really when I became aware of our problem was we had a low chassis fan, low RPM. And that really, really... Uh, kind of woke me up and kind of uh, what's going on here so I tore into it and realized that um, one of the internal fans was, had a dog lint on it so here we've got this replacement fan go ahead and replace this tonight I did pull that fan off and clean it off and I honestly I think that I've got some permanent damage done to the CPU um, I'm definitely not a computer guy but uh, these are kind of just my assumptions and I'll take you along for the process as I learn how to do this. Okay, like I said, I got into this previously and tried to clean this out, but I still think that that fan's either not working or um, permanent damage to CPU. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this apart and uh, install this new fan. Okay, so now that we're inside here, um, this is the fan in question. Um, in order to convert it to this, um, I need to install a new bracket on the motherboard. So I'll have to pull all this out, I get back in the back, put a bracket in the back for the motherboard, and then screw this through into that new bracket. Um, this just has a simple uh, push and twist mechanism in it to hold it in place, just a little plastic clip. So um, basically when I was at the computer shop, they didn't have anything but this type, and they said this is a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and pull the power here and then start turning into this. Okay, I've got an assortment of screwdrivers here. I'm going to take off some of these panels. Okay, and on here we've got um, some thermal paste. Uh, I did take this off last time, tried to put it on, bought one of these actually, and they were, it was the wrong size. So in buying a, so I came back home, they were closed, and I ended up putting on this other one. Um, this one back on. Um, so I put this thermal paste on. It looks like I put a little too heavy. I don't think it did any damage necessarily, but it definitely scooped over the edge, so this time I'll put a little less on. Um, and hopefully this one fits and it's the right. The holes on the other one were like a millimeter, two millimeters, maybe too big. It's kind of crazy that there wouldn't be more standardization between fans on the computers, but that was the case. I'm going to clean off this CPU, back of that with some alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Go ahead and power it up. 
I don't know if you noticed, but this is a TV screen we've got as our computer, just hooked up with HDMI cable, so we we like having that. Well, that's weird. So the, I don't know why, but we've always had this on-screen keyboard that pops up, and it only has tab, enter space, the arrows, page up, page down. There we go. That's weird that it was only part of it. Okay, well, it seems to be working okay. So, hopefully that uh, did the deed. We'll be out of here.